With two new games from Goliath, kids will find themselves playing in water and lava in a pretend way, of course. I'll tell you how to play both games right after you subscribe to this channel. Go fishing for numbers and shapes when you play Let's Go Fishing 1, 2, 3 in the sea. Before you start playing, each player will choose a shape that will be their shape for the rest of the game. Then in your turn, spin the anchor on the side of the fishing rod to see which number you must fish for. All of the fish will be turned so that you can't see the number or shape underneath them. Extend the fishing line and connect the magnet to the metal pieces around the mouth of the fish. Reel it in and check the number to see if it matches the number you spun. If it does match the number, you score a point. And if it matches the number and your shape, you get a bonus point. If you don't make a number match, the fish goes back into the play area. Once the player has caught five fish, tally up everyone's points and the player with the most points wins. You can play this with one to four players ages four and up. Take the Floor is Lava challenge to a new level with the Floor is Lava game. Place the 25 foam floor tiles around the room, and when a color is spun, all players must rush to stand on a tile of that color. If you're the last to reach safety, the tile you started on gets removed from the game. As you're moving, don't touch the floor or you're out. If you land on a tile with a question mark on it, it's time to draw a challenge card. You must perform the action on the card without falling into the lava or you're out. The game itself gets more challenging as more players and tiles are removed. The last player standing is the winner. You could play this game with two to six players ages five and up. Which one of these sounds like the most fun to play? Tell me in the comments. I like both of these games and they each have their own pros and cons. So the pros for Let's Go Fishing are it's a fun way to help kids with number and shape recognition, it works matching and memory skills, the fishing rod really works, and the game pieces are great for pretend play. I don't have any cons so I give it five stars. The pros for The Floor is Lava is that it's an active game, challenge cards add a layer of skill, the game pieces prevent kids from taking apart the living room couch to play, and the game pieces are great for pretend play. I don't have any cons for this one, so I also give it 5 stars. To see more fun toy videos, follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.